What's going on, everybody? It's Slowco here representing MMA Topics, MMAMadhouse.com. We got the Madhouse Clown representing. All right, we're going to break down some fights from last night. Um, first off, I want to talk. I want to say big congratulations, Mark Hunt, KO of the night, beautiful. Beat Chris Tusher out of the Death Clutch Camp. You know, hey, Tusher does not belong in the UFC. He does not belong in Strike Force. Bellator at best. Go to King of the Cage. You can reign. Anyway, so big ups to Mark Hunt. Going to break down a few fights and talk about a couple things. Um, congrats, uh, Ross Pearson, him and Spencer Fisher. Gave a hell of a war. I loved watching that. I personally thought that could have been a fight of the night. Great fight. Loved it. I'm trying to get through these fast, and we'll talk a little bit of after, you know, breakdowns. Um, we're going to talk about um, Dennis Seaver, George Sotteropoulos. That was an awesome fight as well. Um, Seaver, straight up first round, just pure domination. Second round was all G-Sot. Third round was really close. Seaver just landed better combinations, I thought. So, you know, clearly took that fight. Awesome fight. Um, next fight, Kyle Noakes. Some, or, well, probably in the next fight. I'm just, I'm just saying the fights, they come to my head. I'm not looking at anything to tell me about it. Uh, Kyle Noak, Chris Camozzi, uh, Noak got the submission, submission of the night, wonderful, Aussies went crazy, loudest cheer of the night, cool, congrats Kyle Noak, we'll talk about you a little bit later as well, alright, um, we're gonna talk about, um, I guess we'll talk about Michael Bisping, Jorge Rivera, um, that fight, you know, hey, people were gonna talk shit about it the whole time, and Bisping got the win, that's all I'm gonna leave it at, I'm gonna talk about that later as well, when I do a few questions and stuff. Uh, main event, um, BJ Penn won the first round, second round, John Fitch won it, uh, barely, um, well, in people's eyes, barely, but really, he truthfully won that fight control majority of the round, then, um, third round, 10-8, alright, so that's that, um, also, uh, Ricky Fukuda, Nick Ring, that's where I'm gonna start now, some questions, people will know my opinion on that, um, Nick Ring looked good in the fight on the feet, so did Ricky Fukuda, Ricky Fukuda dominated with the takedowns, um, I personally, in my eyes, and I checked on fight metric as well, 30-27, I gave it to Fukuda. I don't see where the judges gave that to Nick Ring. I mean, and I guess maybe if they're referring to his stint back on Ultimate Fighter, where he's like, oh, no, you didn't, or something like that. You know, hey, who knows? Um, it was interesting, but uh, I was pretty pissed off about that call. I mean, Ricky Fukuda is an awesome Japanese fighter, trains at Yushin Okami. I mean, them two guys are good fighters, but Ricky Fukuda, beast. Um, anyway, uh, Dana White did confirm, by the way, he's giving Fukuda his win, uh, bonus, because he got screwed over. So that's cool in that I can, you know, hey. Alright, we're going to talk about the, uh, draw now. Everybody's talking about this draw, saying that I can live with the call, it should have been made. I'm going to go ahead and tell you that it was not a good call. Um, I am a John Fitch fan, he is in my top five of favorite fighters in, uh, MMA, but I'm going to go ahead and tell you, not even being biased. I respect the hell out of BJ Penn, but look, into that fight. All right, that was 10-8 in third round, second round with 10-9 Fitch. I mean, Fitch won the fight. You know what I mean? It was a good fight, and it was a rare, non-boring performance by John Fitch. If you still think Fitch was boring after that, you're just a little ridiculous, in my opinion. Um, Talk a little bit more. Uh, now I'm going to address the Jorge Rivera and Michael Bisping thing. All right. Pre-fight, when someone shit talks about you, you're going to take offense. I mean, you're not going to like hearing it. That's the last thing you want to hear is someone talk about you or your family at that. It's not cool. Jorge Rivera made a bunch of videos on the internet, you know, and it was offensive. I mean, Michael Bisping, he's usually the one that's doing the talking. This one was different. Jorge Rivera's talking him up. There's a problem, in my opinion. Okay, I believe in to be the man, you gotta beat the man. Well, Jorge Rivera's never even fought a top-name middleweight, and then he automatically wants Michael Bisping, who, I'll admit, has beat a bunch of cans, has not beat a legit fighter. I mean, what do you mean he's beat some legit fighters? You know what I'm saying? He hasn't beat an elite guy, except Matt Hamill, which I was bullcrap, you know. Matt Hamill won that fight. Anyway, um, going into the fight, you know, you could just tell they were just wanting to just tear each other's heads off. Well, especially Bisping wanted to. But fight starts out, Bisping's looking the best on the feet, you know. And Jorge Rivera could have done so many things to get the knockout in that fight. I was pissed because he could have gotten, he could have set up that jab to go to the right, you know. Been awesome. He could have done some kicks, keep the distance, but no. Especially when Bisping's going for that takedown. Bisping's like so opened up, like his face. Wide open. Right when he's going for that takedown, throw a knee up. Catch him. I mean, my God, if he could just, if he could have timed it better, Jorge Rivera would have won that fight. Then when Rivera's getting up, Bisping just catch, boom, knee. You know, it was, was kind of crazy. It looked like it was intentional. I kind of thought it was. But, um, you know, hey, when you're in that kind of mindset, hey, you're not even thinking. Okay, when you're in fight mode, all you're thinking about is getting your game plan done. He mistimed it. He, you know, he, he kind of messed him up. I can live with that. Um, it was bullshit, I mean, it was a, it was a messed up knee, I don't approve of the knee, but hey, it happened. Um, and then, you know, next round, Floria punches, called him, TKO, congrats, Michael Bisping. Woo! 
All right, so now we'll talk about some fights to make after this. Um, so Cheryl, like I said, uh, make uh, Michael Bisping and Damian Maya. I'd like to see that in a way. Um, I just don't. I don't think Bisping is ready for that level of competition. He's gonna get beat. I wanna. I wanna personally say that I could actually see a Michael Bisping versus Vanderlei Silva rematch. That was a close fight. I thought Vanderlei won it the original time, but a lot of people were really questioning that. I was in Australia the first time. Um, I could see a rematch in that happening. But, you know, I could live with him fighting someone like Damian Meyer or just, you know, a good, just a, a legit fighter. I, I wouldn't mind seeing him fight uh, Tom Lawler. That would have been a cool fight. But Lawler is rumored to be fighting Chris Lieben. I just was informed that last night, actually. His friends say it's not, but anyway, I'll go past that. Um, I think Kyle Noak, um, for him, there's a lot of people he could fight, you know. I could see Kyle Noak fighting someone actually like Nick Ring or someone like that, actually. But I don't know who they put him up against. I don't know who's a good matchup for him at 185 as well. Um, yeah, I just that's just a tough one to think about for him. Uh, Mark Hunt, give him Pat Barry. I texted, you know, a bunch of people telling him that's what I wanted to see. Uh, you know, I hit up Ariel Hawani, let him know, hey, let's put it out there. Let's get him to see. You know, he responded, yeah, let's do it. Um... I hit up Dana White on Twitter. Of course, Dana's not going to respond to someone that's giving him credit or something like that. You know, saying, hey, put it together. Being positive. All you got to do is cuss at Dana. He's going to cuss you back out. Um, You know, I think Fitch and Penn, people could arguably say a rematch. I'm going to tell you, neither one of them are getting a title shot anytime soon. Because t- there's going to be a big melee of mess in that division. Um, What's going to end up happening is you're going to end up seeing, uh, I bet, I'm just... Calling out my ass right now. I'm feeling Car- Carlos Condit, BJ Penn, uh, John Fish, Jake Ellenberger. Top four guys in the welterweight division in their eyes right now. Tiago Alves has already lined up with a fight, you know, so, eh, kind of out there. So, I mean, there's a few fights that can be made with this whole situation. I don't think Tiago Alves is ready to get back in the title mix yet to a couple more wins. Just, just for saying, you know. But there's a lot of fights you can make. I I wouldn't mind seeing personally Brian Ebersol versus like a Matt Serra or even Matt Hughes. Maybe Ricardo Almeida, someone like that. Just want to see some cool fights. Um, also want to say a big congrats to Paul Daly for locking up his uh title shot with Nick Diaz last night. He scored a beautiful knockout. Go on YouTube, find it. It was, it was pretty sweet. Um, so that's just me right here. Look, I'm gonna making a video this week for uh the. UFC Live 3. I want, if you, hey, if you got some questions for me, just pop some questions right here on the comment on the video or anything like that. You know, I'll be able, I'll be happy to break down the fight. I don't really want to break down everything on the fights from last night. I wasn't much to break down. Um, just, you know, just leave me some questions, whatever you want to ask me. I don't care what they are. They can go any range of questions, nothing gay. But just ask me some MMA-related questions. You can ask me personal questions. I don't care. Just, if you want questions for me answering videos, I will do it. Uh, websites want shout-outs. Hit me up for advertisement. Boom, I, you know, I can hook you up on some of that kind of stuff, too, as well. Um, check out the articles uh, on MMAMadhouse.com. We post them there. Follow the gang on Twitter. You can go on the page that's my videos here. It's going to be, no, sorry, right there. Start looking down. Yeah, right, right there. You see our info? Yeah, you'll see all our names on Twitter. And uh, also, remember, I'm in Madhouse. Um, so that's that's about it. I'm going to be cutting a video, like I said, for this Thursday's event. Get at me. Ask me questions. See what's up. Let's have some deba- debates. Also, if you want to add me on Facebook personally, just look me up at facebook.com slash cslowfoshow. I don't know why it's my name. I just got bored. C-S-L-O-F-O-S-H-O. Just add me on Facebook. You'll see me comment on there. Just add me as a friend. I always do MMA debates on my page. All right, peace.